From VTV Channel 6 Studios in downtown Vernal, this is Local Point with your host, Chris Piner. Hello and welcome to Local Point. I'm your host, Chris Piner. On today's show, we want to welcome Mike Harrington and Brian Gorham from the Vernal Rotary Club. We're here to talk about Santa's community effort. Welcome, you two. Thank you. It's Thank nice you. to be here, Chris. Well, it's nice to have you. I, we, we had you last year. Yes. And so we've talked about Santa's community effort throughout the years. But uh, for anybody who doesn't know, who would like to take on a quick description of what what is the effort? Mike? I, I can do that. <laughs> I, uh, it's pretty much the same thing that we've done for the last three years. Uh, we took over the effort from a, from a group of, of great women who had been leading it for 20, 22 for many years. years. Yeah, and they'd done a fantastic job. And, and uh, it finally got to the time where they thought somebody else would take the torch. So they approached the Rotary Club, and uh, it was something that we were looking for. We had, we, we had set up some major fundraisers through the year uh, and, and some other major service projects, but, but uh, we wanted sort of a, a, a face for our club and, and the Sub for Santa program, the community effort has been, been that for us. Basically what, the, what it is, is, is we go through a process of taking applications. Um, we take applications from early November through mid-December, and this year the uh, deadline for applications is December 12th, that's this Saturday. Uh, the applications are picked up at Davis Food and Drug. We then take the information from the applications, uh, we transfer them to a number of spreadsheets, we create these lists of gifts that need to be purchased, and then those are purchased in a couple of different ways. Uh, people will either take uh, some cards that we hang on trees uh, that are at Davis Food and Drug and Walmart. Um, and those, those are up uh, pretty much right up until Christmas Eve uh, for people to pick up. Uh, but we'd like those to be picked up by December uh, 18th. Uh, but those are available, like I said, at Walmart or Davis Food and Drug. Then they can go and pay, take whatever gift is requested and then they return that gift to the Uinta County building. And then we organize it and get it ready for people to pick up. Uh, we also have the opportunity for local corporations to, um, to adopt families where they'll take those applications and they will be responsible for purchasing the gifts, wrapping them, contacting the people that have requested the gifts and uh, taking care of it for us. Uh, we've had Questar and Simplot um, have uh, participated and continue to participate again this year and uh, the school district participates. but. It's a great community project uh, to cover for gifts that, that, that maybe some, some people that are in less fortunate circumstances this year that they need for kids. And every kid deserves to have a gift under the tree. That's right. Thank exactly. you. Well, a great description, a nice little history. Uh, fundamentally, we don't want families, and especially children, to go without uh, ever, but in particular with this effort during the holiday season. Exactly. So uh, now, as I understand it, Brian, correct me if I'm wrong. The Santa's community effort is attempting to cover all bases, right? To to well, get to catch er anybody who might be falling through the cracks and exactly. to not double we're, up necessarily either. Yeah, yeah. We're well, we are we are um, working with other organizations to make sure that we don't have people double dip, but we don't want people to fall through the cracks, like you said. We want we want every kid to wake up on uh, Christmas morning and have something from Santa and that's that's why we're here. So is this done primarily, I mean you, you mentioned donations, uh, sponsorships and business donations that way, but also through these angel trees uh, right. of sorts uh, or what, whatever they're called. I, th I think of it as an angel tree where the cards as you mentioned are pulled off sure. and list specific things that a, a child might want that someone could shop for. The, the card will say um, we would like you to buy a, a toy for a, and then it'll say an eight-year-old boy. Eight-year-old boy. And then it'll say, and, and this is something that, that the parent that has requested, he likes Legos. So right. it'll be an eight-year-old boy, Legos. And then it has So his, I could take that card, right. then go shopping mm -hmm. for some Legos. Right. And then I would bring that card and the gift you'll, unwrapped? Yep, you'll bring, bring the card Bring it back and unwrapped. To uh, where? Where do I bring it? Back to the the place of the tree, which you said was uh, actually and actually it'll have instructions on the card when they take it to take it back to the Uinta County building. And we we want to say thanks oh, to Uinta County. They've Definitely. been awesome uh, to, to give us the amount of space that they give us. As you can imagine, uh, we we typically have 
uh, in excess of, of uh, 600 to, to 800 kids that participate right. in this program. So, so when we're buying gifts for 800 kids, it takes up a huge space. Uh, you know, every do you also do some of the shopping? Uh, if, if someone gives you money and, and you're aware sure. of, of things to do, do you go out on these we, charitable we do, shopping? We do take uh, cash donations. Um, and um, in, in the past, we've, we've, uh, we've gone out and, and just filled in the gaps and, and, and such. But uh, this year, we're, we're, we have a pretty big load. Um, the economy's not good. And we're having a, a lot of, of applications. A lot of people who, so could, who could do well by, by receiving a little bit of help through, right, right. through this effort and other great charity efforts. Exactly. As I think um, about the Rotary Club, uh, just as a member of the community, and I'm not a member of the Rotary Club, but I think about the Rotary Club being a service organization that really gives, particularly in my perspective, to young people, to children and young, young people. Uh, so what a great fit to see Santa's community effort in the hands of the Rotary Club that is already doing this kind of thing anyway. Thank you. So I thank you from the community. I wanna talk a little bit more about Santa's community effort and how okay. people can get involved with that. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. After the break, we'll uh, be discussing more about the Rotary Club and Santa's community effort, so stay tuned, we'll be right back. These days, we all want more speed. And right now at Strata Networks, that's exactly what you're gonna get. For a limited time, upgrade your current internet package and get faster speeds at no additional cost for 90 days. That's right, browse, stream, and download faster with speeds up to 50 megabits per second. Call us today to get your free speed boost only from Strata Networks. Restrictions apply, see store for details. Strata Networks, we connect lives. Welcome back to Local Point. Before the break, we were discussing the Rotary Club and in particular, Santa's community effort, uh, something that is relatively new, newly adopted by the Rotary Club, but has been around in the community, uh, at least in the Vernal community, for many, many years, many maybe years. even decades, right? Yeah. But uh, uh, there, there seems to be a great need, as, as I'm hearing uh, both of you talk, this year in particular, I think, I think we're all very much aware of the, uh, the impact of the current economy uh, on families and, and lives and, and job situations. Sure. Um, but you're, you're feeling that same, that same thing in terms of charitable giving this year and on the receiving end. Right. So it's uh, both, both sides are, <laughs> the receiving end is a little higher this year and, and understandably so and the charitable giving is a little bit lower. Um, so how, how can we appeal to our, our viewers to, right. uh, to give? Well, the, just to give you some idea, typically we have somewhere in the neighborhood of 225 families that apply. Uh, this year we're already in excess of 300 and we haven't cut off mm -hmm. uh, d taking applications. And so with that increased number of people, that's substantial. Uh, and then with the economy the way it is, it's, it's tougher for people to, to have discretionary funds and to, to take the angel trees or, or, or even corporations to be able to donate. Uh, and, and so really if, if, if people could understand that and, and if they've got any, the means, if they could make donations, we'd really appreciate it. And at this point, uh, cash donations would be very helpful. Uh, we are associated with Charitable Friends of Ashley Valley. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm on the board with Charitable Friends of Ashley Valley. If anybody wanted to contact me, uh, my number is 435-828-0220. And this is Mike Harrington. That's right. And, and if they wanted to contact me, I would be able to supply them with the documentation so that they would have a uh, tax-deductible donation because Charitable Friends is a 501c3 entity. 
That was my next question was how can someone actually yep. make the donations? But that would be the best way to contact you? Either contact me directly or they could contact Heather Hoyt. Uh, Heather Hoyt is also on the board with Charitable Friends. She, I, I think it was sort of her brainchild to create Charitable Friends of Ashley Valley. Um, and she's uh, been more than willing to help us with taking donations. So if your tax person has told you that it would really help for you to make donations before the end of the year, what a great way to do it. And also to keep it here in our community and help some people who really, really have the need. We don't want to see, and I don't think anybody wants to see anyone go without on the holiday season. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian, you had told me a little bit off camera that um, a typical giving amount might be $25 for a child. Certainly right. you could do more than that, right. and that, that would always be welcome and, and accepted. But for those of us wondering, well, what is an appropriate amount to give? That, that's a pretty good dollar amount to kind of get started per child? Um, my wife and I were out shopping the other night for, for, our, for our kids that we pulled off the tree, and, and uh, we probably averaged about $25 to $30. Per gift per gift right and last year we had very very um, generous people and we had some really really nice gifts and we're asking them if if you're able to instead of spending fifty or a hundred dollars on a kid can you take two or three kids right and spend twenty five thirty dollars on them right right and um, you know last year we gave out coats to every kid and we did that we had a coat drive earlier this year. We actually had two coat drives. And um, so we think that, that, that we've met that need. So we're just trying to make sure that every kid has a couple of toys. And, and that might mean, instead of a really expensive gift, maybe a couple smaller ones so that everyone can have something. Exactly. Uh, there is a great need. And, and uh, if we, we can appeal to our viewers to be uh, uh, extra generous or just find it within yourself to give. Uh, this is a, a fantastic effort and something that really will make an impact on our community in a big way. And hopefully we'll not always be in this economy, right? Right. So. Oh, yeah. You never know. You may be on the other side of that someday. If you're receiving now, you might be on the giving side later on. But um, it's the season, isn't it? If I, if I can just add this, um, we, we go up and it's a logistical nightmare to, to sort these gifts and make sure that every, every kid's checked off and all that good stuff. But um, last year, this, this gentleman came in and he, he had this toy and he had the biggest grin on his face. I'm, I'm telling you, and you know who I'm talking about, Mike. He, uh, he came in and he just, he's like, I found the perfect gift for this kid. She's gonna love it. And he hands me that gift and the joy on his face is, it, it just, it was the thing that kept me going through all the long hours. And every time somebody got grumbly because I'm like, think about that guy that was giving that gift and he, 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 does, he didn't look like he had the means to do it. And you got to see his face. I, I saw his face <laughs> and he, he said, I saved up and I got this for this kid. And that's the guy I'm doing it for. And that's, you, you hear stories over and over again where parents will come in and they will say, look, this is the greatest thing that we've been able to experience during this Christmas season because we got to take our child and go buy a gift and then drop it off. And, and it really is one of the best experiences that you can have in, in giving during the season. I appreciate yeah. you both it's, being It's a teaching here. moment. It's a teaching moment for the yeah. giver and for the receiver. It is. And we're grateful to uh, Santa's community effort and to good companies such as Simplot. I, I can't name all of them. I don't know. They, they've been very generous in, in addition to others, but also to the Rotary Club. Yeah. And uh, in addition to our appeals, maybe if this kind of thing is your cup of tea, well, maybe you ought to check out uh, the Rotary Club. And, uh, and you can be involved in this kind of thing year round and around good people like this. We appreciate you both, Mike and Brian, for being Thanks. here. And thank you thank for you. joining us on this episode of Local Point. That's all we have for today's show. Be sure to like us on VTV6 on Facebook for updates on your favorite local pro programming. We'll see you next time.